Yarn expert Clara Parts is back with us for today's Yarn Spotlight where we're talking about the whole wide world of sock yarn. Welcome, Clara. Hi, Uni. So there's a whole, I mean, there's just a, a stunning array of sock yarns that are available. How do you, how do, what are you looking for? Uh, there probably is no other category with as many offerings as sock yarn, just like you said. Fortunately, there are really three things that you need to keep in mind when you're choosing a sock yarn. Um, the first thing is elasticity. If mm -hmm. you think about it, before you can even wear a sock, you have to be able to jam your foot through it. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be able to stretch and then return to its original dimensions. The second thing that you need in a happy sock is the moisture management. And this is not just lip service, this is actually pretty serious. The average human foot will release eight ounces of moisture a day. That's amazing. <laughs> it's a wow. shocking fact. So that is probably the main reason, well, one of the main reasons why most sock yarns are made with wool or mm -hmm. with a majority of a protein fiber, because it can absorb up to 30% of its weight in moisture before you ever start to feel anything. Mm -hmm. So moisture management is number two, and number three is abrasion resistance. Mm -hmm. The sock is the hardest working garment that we could possibly knit. And it's not just the, the, when you talk about it, soccer needs to be strong, it's not like this truck pulling strength, mm -hmm. it's that back and forth every day abrasion that happens when you put the sock in on your foot, jam it into a shoe, mm -hmm. and walk around. Mm -hmm. And so that's why most sock yarns out there, if you want a really strong and well-wearing sock yarn, it's going to have some nylon in it. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. So what I brought today are two kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. First, we have a workhorse of a sock yarn. Um, this is kind of a classic combination that you're going to see a lot of. It's got four plies. Okay. So uh, twist is energy. The more twist you have, the more strength you have holding those fibers together. Uh, it's 75% superwash merino mm -hmm. for people who like to toss their socks in the washing machine, and then 25% nylon. So here it is knitted up, and you said it's a four ply. I mean, mm -hmm. the stitch definition is really phenomenal. Yeah, with a four ply, you're going to get really round, spectacular stitches. Great, great definition. You can do cables. I even did a little bit of open work here with some yarn overs, stitches going on. Um, ribbing, fantastic. See how it springs back, yet mm -hmm. it's got lots of nice strength to it. That's great. Mm -hmm. And the hand dyed colors, you know, I mean, so hand dyeing is a big thing yes. with, with sock yarn. Yeah. Um, you know, how do you kind of judge what, what sort of patterning to, to use with your, with your hand dyed colors? It's when the colors are contrasting versus kind of their, their varying shades of the similar color family, mm -hmm. you can get away with some more texture. Okay, so that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So over here, this is sort of the opposite end of the sock spectrum. Yes, so over here if you have the very strong workhorse sock yarns, mm -hmm. this is for when you want a little luxury mm -hmm. for yourself. Um, this is 75% yak down. Oh, interesting. And then, wait, no, 85% yak down and 15% nylon. Mm -hmm. So, um, and here's an example where this is an undyed, beautiful, beautiful natural color you can get away with a ton more patterning mm. in there. It's not going to get lost. Once you start to add one of these beautiful hand-dyed colorways, you would go for a slightly simpler pattern. And what's the structure of this yarn? This yarn has just two plies. Okay. Yeah. And so what was cool about that for this sock is that two-ply yarns, they do a more beautiful job with kind of lacy, open stitch work. Mm -hmm. And Let's just show everybody what that means, yes, the two plies. Yes, that's two strands that have been twisted together at a pretty relaxed angle. So it feels very soft in the skein. Yeah. And knitted up, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And the cool thing with this, because it's yak down, that's going to bloom when you wash mm -hmm. it. And so the blooming kind of fills in all the spaces. It's also very warm. Mm -hmm. And so that was why in a sock like this, the yarn overs, it's, it's beautiful lace, but it also is kind of subtle ventilation. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And the yak takes the place of the merino with kind of doing all the moisture management and, you know, et cetera. Yeah, anything grown by an animal is going to have similar moisture absorbency mm -hmm. uh, qualities. And so. Well, very yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that yarn for socks needed to do so much work. It's a hard worker. Well, very cool. You, you've got a whole different, um, you've got a whole spectrum of different choices to make. Mm -hmm. so, thanks, Clara.